Good morning, everybody. This is Pam at the Paper Outpost, and guess what? It's Organizational Friday. So what are we doing today? Is it that? No. Is it that? No. Is it that? No. It's this beastie demon I've been avoiding. Ready? Ah! Yeah, I call this my uh, nightmare paperclip drawer. And this one I've definitely been avoiding, but it's time. Ready to rock? Let's do this. And here's reality. Oh my goodness. And yes, yes, this is my black mat. I'm trying to pull it out and be courageous to use it. I'm very scared. I'm very scared because there is my other mat very close by still. I call that now my working mat. And this is my display mat. <laughs> we'll see how long that lasts. I think I need to rearrange all my lights and everything. Okay. So do you have a drawer that looks like this? Like somebody vomited paper clips and elastics? Yeah, yeah, I do. I have more than one drawer like this. Yes, yes, I do. And I also have a puppy who's nibbling on my toes. Okay, we're gonna play the throw game. Go fetch. Okay, there we go. Here we go. He's wide awake, bright eyed and bushy tailed. Okay, so let's just get to this. All right, so if you are in the mood to clean up a drawer or you just want to watch me do slave labor, that's fine. I'm here for you. <laughs> I got to do this. Um, it has been um, a big task to get my craft room organized. And I can't believe how unorganized it was, but I got it. Oh, 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 I know what I wanted to show you. Okay, hang on. I'm going to give you an update. Um, uh, maybe I'll do that at the end. The update on the, because um, I'm already set up here, um, the stamps and that type of thing. But one thing I can tell you, it was worth all the effort because I'm happily using my stamps again that I totally forgot about and I can see them. And the, I think, I don't know, for me, the real key is only one stamp deep. Now, I don't have perfection with that because I do have limited space and I probably need to get rid of a few more stamps, but I did my darndest. I did my darndest to keep it at one level deep. And I want to show you, and it is so much more fun to go in the stamp drawers now and pull something out because it's just like, oh, open the drawer, pull. Oh, there's a stamp, I'll take it. Oh, a stamp. Okay, look, you can go right back where you were. And there's like no fuss, no muss. Like, not like, get it in there, close the drawer. Can't close the drawer, you know, all that, you know, you know? And uh, um, so, and I really do like using my stamps. I mean, it's old school. I mean, do, do people still use stamps? I love stamps. Um, and, and I'm I'm still, I, I guess I'm I'm of that genre, I'm, but I'm dating myself. Anybody got bulb pens? I'm gonna try and keep my bulb pens separate. There was, there's actually an organizational system under this. You just can't see it because of all the disorganization. But um, I went into a panic thinking I didn't have enough paper clips. So I went and bought like thousands of paper clips. Um, and, uh, um, yeah, so I also have these. These are cool book darts. Have you ever seen these? Um, oh, it looks like I have everything in here. Oh, guess what? That's a disorganized too. But they're these cool little things that you slip over a page. And I, I cleaned my desk. I'm so proud. I'm so proud. Um, let me find a piece of paper. Isn't it funny when you clean, you can't find one piece of paper? Okay, let me just grab this. But basically, these work. Um, and they're basically for just for one little thin sheet of paper. Yeah. And, and you just put it on like that. So if you were marking a spot in a book, um, a page, a book page, or um, something like that, very cool. Um, so I had book darts and apparently a few other things. Um, okay, so we'll put those there. Bulb pins here. So I want to have a bulb pin area, like a large paper clip area and a small paper clip area. And I need to do some more um, paper clip uh, dyeing, you know, with the alcohol inks because they really look cute all dyed up and uh, see I forgot about these. I brought a whole bunch of really cool brads. Totally forgot about them. Yep, totally forgot about them. And I have some small little containers I thought I might use. I have um, some little boxes and little plastic thingies. So we'll see what we need. Okay, so we're gonna put areas. A little bigger. Work with me here, a little more desk arm. Okay. There we go. All right, so we have elastics, book darts, bulb pins, brads, and more brads. Okay, gosh, I forgot I had all these. See, that's the thing. You buy stuff and you don't remember you have it. What are these? Let me see. I need my glasses. Hang on. When you hear yourself saying, what are these? That means you need to grab your glasses. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Okay. Hmm. Can I see now? Oh, I can see now. Okay. <laughs> it's like, oh, the world came to life. What are these? Tiny brads? Yeah, they're little baby brads. Okay, very cute. Oh, I got like a million of those. Awesome. Oh, um, I have, I spent hours once um, putting little pieces of ribbon and seam binding and lace and rags onto paper clips. And then I was going to have this little uh, thing that you could just pull from. And they all got mixed up in here somehow. Uh, so I would like to separate those out and um, have a special place for those. Okay, so we'll make a special place for you. And then I have the big paper clips. These are really handy if you've never used these before. If you really want to clamp your uh, pages or something like that, if you're sewing or punching holes. Um, although the big paper clips and even little cl paper clips will work. So um, you have options and that's always good to know. But it's always good to have, um, I don't know, just like if, if you come across these somewhere inexpensively, um, I would recommend grabbing a pack. Um, I do have them in my Amazon store, but you can get them. I've seen them in Office Depot. Um, probably the craft stores have them too. And uh, I think I got some in two. I got these colored ones in Tuesday morning. Um, so whatever is close to you, go for it. These were cute, but um, they are little uh, clothespins. And they don't fall apart the way the little wooden ones do. Sometimes the little wooden ones, if you just bend them wrong, it breaks into like three pieces instantly. Uh, but these little ones have a little more organization, uh, a higher quality little thing. They're not wooden though, they're plastic. Um, I wish they were wooden, but they're, they're plastic. We, we have what we have them. And then there's random, okay, here's a leftover uh, label that uh, all my labels on my drawers mean nothing. Everything has changed so many times. It's like a, uh, it's like a cruel joke. Yes, I play upon myself uh, because it, they don't mean anything. And Sonny has pulled off all the lower bottom labels and chewed them and then he leaves them thankfully he doesn't swallow those um, more brads and uh um so yeah get comfy this could be a while yeah there may be multiple parts to this baby more brads these must be the uh, bronzy coppery style brads very cool I i'm excited to play with brads i need to invite brad back into my life you know when you just <laughs> you know <laughs> i've ignored brad and it's time i welcome brad back in because uh uh, I think that um, they can be a lot of fun and there's so many things you can do with brads. We should just have a video on brads and the fun things you can do with them. It's a little decorated button. Um, here's one of these swirly -oos. Very cute. Hard to work with, but very cute. Something different. A button. You can go over there. We can put you away in the button thing. And, uh, oh, look at that. Look. Here I have a, um, a little key stuck to a bulb pin. Uh... We'll put you here. Okay, so let's just go through this methodically. If we see any material, here's um, little decorated uh, safety pins. How cute are you? I forgot I had these, you know? Now, they were designed to put on the edge of a page to be almost like a, um, a little uh, page tab. I need to make more of those. Those are fun, very easy, and, and great way to use up scraps. Okay, okay. Uh, here's a, uh, little clusters on uh, bulb pins or um, garment pins. Very fun to make. Um, all right, let's see. Here we go. Here we go. Where do we... Okay, I just need something big to put my... Okay, I have this like thing I made once and I used to keep my, my um, daubers in it, but I have changed that whole system now. So I'm going to put my big paper clips in here just because there's a lot of them. It's just easier if I... Oh, there's a hairband. Everybody says I should use those instead of elastics. I probably should probably should get rid of all my elastics. Can you really ever get rid of all your elastics? Who has the kahunas to do that? Me? No, I don't think so. But I do have a lot of hairbands, um, you know, elastics for hair. Um, and they're not expensive. You can get those at the Dollar Tree. Um, okay, let's just... Okay. Oh, we have a ring in here that has no place being in here. These are cool. Remember these? from uh, days gone by document holders a couple of those for fatty fat fats oddball little things not sure what those are put those in the unknown pile here's a uh, uh, dyed paper clip and uh, yeah I'd need to do more of those so let me put those in a separate category I don't know if you can see those on there but they're there so I hope you're having a nice day hope it's going smoothly smoothly let me put this here Put that paper clip over there. Oh, what, what he's chewing on? No, no. Okay, okay, I'm coming. All right, all right. Hang on. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta play fetch. All right. Someone wants to say hi. Hi, everybody. Mom has to play fetch now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
Yeah. Okay. And here is the object du jour. Yes, that is it. Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. We pitched it. Uh, yeah, I I'm telling you, it's it's the cheap toys he plays with. Uh, yeah, he pulled that right out of the garbage too. A little stinker. He's taller now. <laughs> He's got reach. <laughs> oh no. It's like the toddler who now can reach into the cupboards and into the drawers. Everything changes. Oh, yes. He's past the table walking stage. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's nibbling on my feet again. Um, I, uh, I have uh, figured out to wear... Um, have you ever heard of reading socks or reading booties? I didn't know about these things, but somebody, um, a very kind family member, gave me um, a gift certificate to Barnes & Noble. And um, I looked up, okay, what would I buy myself that uh, I would never really buy myself? And I thought, hmm reading socks. There's something I wouldn't buy myself, but I would like to try. You know what I mean? So they're Sherpa lined reading socks. Now you have to remember, I live in Florida, so they're basically um, very fuzzy slippers. And they bas they're they basically housewear that you would never be caught dead in anywhere else. And um, um, I was very resistant in the beginning. I'm like, oh, oh what did I, what did I buy? I should have bought, should have bought um, more stationery, something like that. And uh, well, let me just tell you, they came and they were ugly as expected. But then I put my foot in, and my world changed. Oh my God, I was so excited, and uh, my feet were never so toasty warm. And it's cold here. We have Florida cold. I know it's not cold like where you're from, but it's it's Florida cold. So to having we have a tile floor, so it's cold. So uh, having a nice warm Tootsie is really nice. And second bonus, um, Sunshine, my beloved little pup, cannot chew my toes while I wear my reading socks. And, um, you know, of course, my husband, he's like, you know, wrinkling his nose at the reading socks and um, uh, not quite sure about it. So I said, no, really, you got to try it. It's like, just put one on. And he put one on. And he's like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. These are amazing. Um he goes, do they make them for men? I take a 12. <laughs> I'm like, you got to be kidding. You're going to, you're going to wear these. And he said, if you can find big ones for me, um, I will, uh, I will wear them. So I went back on Barnes and Noble and, um, they don't carry, they only, it's like one size fits all. And, oh, hang on. He's got a glove. Okay. He had pulled a rubber glove out of one of my crafting drawers, which is not allowed. That means I have to clean that drawer better. Um, Yes, yes. And now I, I, I threw it for you, honey. Not the glove. <laughs> We're back to his little toy. That's not nearly as much fun as the glove, Mom. Where's the glove? <laughs> oh, he really liked that glove, too. But no, that's like a balloon with kids, right? You can't let them play with that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so... Yeah, I bought these cute little um, colored paper clips, and they also take the um, alcohol ink dye. So we will do that. Actually, while we're doing this, why don't we just do some? I'll show you how, how we do that. It's pretty easy. Okay, so here's my bin of miscellaneous alcohol inks and glitter inks, but the, the alcohol inks work best. So I've got three plastic bags, and um, this is kind of a stinky thing. The alcohol inks, better if you do it outside, honestly, because they have a, a strong aroma. It's not good for you to inhale it. Um, so let me secure. Okay, so this is like a green. Let me just show you this one. Um, Art Co. Alcohol Ink. Olive green. Okay, that's a good color. So let's just take, well, let's just take these guys, these big ones, put them in here. And you want to do a bunch because you just want to do this every once in a while. That way you have back stock. You know what I mean? I love back stock. All right. I guess we'll put some different things in there. We don't know what we have, but it's all interesting. Don't need the elastics in there. All right. That's a good, that's not enough. Put some more in pan. All right. These are all mixed up. Oh, well, that's okay. All right, so basically you open your little container of your alcohol ink. Don't inhale too much and do this quickly. And it doesn't take a lot. You don't want to do a lot. Just to, like, put one or two drops, maybe three, because that's what went in. And now you might have to put more, but you want to assess. Because um, you don't want residue. You just want it to color. So seal. And then shake. Remember, it's kind of like shake and bake. Now let's see how we do it. See how it spreads? All right, let's just do this for a second. Yeah, see how they're changing? See, it doesn't take a lot. Less is actually better uh, because then it'll dry nicely, quickly, um, and uh, you won't have a lot of like crunchy crispies on the side of your your uh, um, paper clips. 
Why did those words disappear? Is that menopause? Probably. Okay. All right, here we go. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your paper clips. Shake your paper clips. So, they're pretty colored. Huh? Like that. Oh, yeah. So you can put, you can also put multiple colors in. Yeah, so that, that's kind of a cool thing to do too. But I use green a lot, so I'm going to keep this green bucket going. Okay. And then, oh, when you set this to dry, what you want to do is open the bag and let the air um, circulate so that it, uh, but I'm not going to do it right now because it's going to stink. We'll just let it sit there close. But let it air dry. It'll be like dry in like half an hour. And they're ready to use. Okay, so let's put some more in here. See what we got. Pretty much. Big ones. Oh, I got one of those. All right. Here, here. Okay. Let's see what I got in there. I don't know. Maybe some bulb pins went in. That's okay. I'll just. This is actually a cheater way to clean up, isn't it? Oh yeah. Look at me. I'm cleaning. <laughs> All right. Here's a chain that doesn't belong in here. Go back from whence you came. There you go. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's see what we have. Oh yeah. That's a good amount. All right. So what color should we do now? Uh, maybe a blue. Blue would be nice. We could do a bluey green. Okay, so here's a different brand. This is, I think, Ranger alcohol inks. And I have some alcohol inks in my Amazon store, but you can also find these at the regular big box uh, craft stores. Let's try, uh, let's try three drops here. One, two, three. So some of these are more, um, they travel farther than others. And you just got to sort of see. Okay, so here we go. Ready? It doesn't look like anything. And now we're going to shake, 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 your paper clips, shake your paper clips. Huh. I don't see anything. <laughs> we might see now, now this one, I mean, I may need a lot more color. See, very, nothing at all. Like, where are you? Um, okay, we're going to put in more. Let's see if we can try three more drops and then maybe we'll see it. So maybe this is more dilute or something or one, two, three. Yeah, I would uh, advance as so, just a little bit at a time. Okay. And shake, shake, shake. Okay, here we go. I see some color now. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your paper clips. Shake your paper clips. Ooh, shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. All right, getting some blue. I would like a little more blue. This is like barely blue. What is this cheap stuff they sell me? Maybe I need to shake it. Hmm? <laughs> Where's my color? I want my color. All right. Um, oh, is, are you an alcohol ink? Nope. Let's see if I have a, a blue in the other brand. The other one seemed to be a little more intense or it was one, two, three. I'm going to put six in. Okay. Cause we can't be, we are, we are cleaning the paperclip door. We are not coloring paperclips today, but apparently we're coloring paperclips. All right. And shake, 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 shake your paperclips. Okay. Now they're starting to turn. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see through the bag, but. Shake, shake, shake. All right. Bluish. Not the greatest though. You know what? I'm going to try the other brand. See if I can find a different um, one like the other one. All right. I'm looking. So that's green. Alcohol ink. Oh, lavender. Very nice. We would do one of those. Yes, we will. 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 All right, what are these? These are glitterings, glitterings. Not the same thing, not the same thing. What are you, alcohol ink? Teal. All right, put you over there. What are you eating? No, don't eat that. No. <laughs> I um, twist tied some cables together and he's eating that twist. No, stop. All right, bucko. Don't do that. Oh, I gotta rewire my place. He's, uh, yeah, too interested in my um, eggplant and lettuce. Okay, he's too interested in my cords. Yeah, we gotta we gotta handle that right away. Stream. All right, what's this? Glittering. Uh, what are you? What are you? What are you? Aha! Uh -huh, liquid watercolor. No, nope, that's not gonna do it. Some of these little bottles all look the same, but they're completely different items in them. Glittering, 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 glittering. Yep, they won't work. What's this? Blue. Glittering. Darn it. What are you? Alcohol ink. Some kind of blue. Okay. We have, I don't think we've used you yet. We'll try you. Alcohol ink. Burgundy. Glittering. Okay. 
So I think I have, oh, there's another alcohol ink. Berry. All right, so let me try some more of this one. Hey, Pichu, no, don't be doing that. Oh, we have issues. <laughs> we have things to handle. This is another blue of some sort. Let's just put some in here. One, two, four, five, six. Okay, we just put a, a boatload in there. You know that thing I said? So it depends on your alcohol ink. Hey, no, chew, away from that. No, okay, I'm gonna move the garbage so you can't get there. All right, here it comes there. The blockade has been enacted. We have to do a lot of blockading around here, yes. Now we can't have Puppy Fry hurt himself on um, electrical outlets. So yeah, that has to be task number one today. Okay. So now I think we're finally getting some real blue. If not, that's as far as we're going. Yeah, okay. We'll just look at this later and see if we're happy with it. If not, we'll just dump a bunch more in. Okay, one more bag. And we'll do like a, I don't know, the lavender sounded interesting, didn't it? Maybe that brand is better. Hmm? All right, let's try the lavender. Okay, a bunch of these. And uh, I like using them, they're fun to uh, use the colored paper clips. Sometimes they might make a little mark on a white paper, but rarely do we work with pure white papers in the junk journal world. So it just looks like a little bit more natural aging on the edge of a paper. So it's okay. It's okay. Yep. All right. Oh, no elastic. Oh, put a lot in here. Okay. Okay. So I'm trying this one. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. Okay. Can't see if it's focused. Okay. I hope it is. But this is Artco. Lavender. Okay, give it a shake. Give it a shake. All right. Well, I'm gonna just try three. One, two, three. Okay, that was probably five. But let's just see if these are more intense. Hey, hey, what are you? No, what are you eating? What is that? Hang on. The tiniest piece of paper ever, and he found it on the floor. And I swear, I, I like run the <coughs> the vacuum in here all the time. And he still finds a piece of paper. Something just stuck me. Look at this. Oh, there's a pin in there. Yeah, that didn't feel too nice. Well, this looks more intense already with just a few drops. So I am saying, I am going to be validating that this brand, we better. Oh my God, look at that. Like purple. Purple mania. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Look how everything is purple. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, so what's your problem, Ranger Alcohol Inks? Why don't you color? <coughs> Less pigment or something? I don't know, but yeah, that like, there we are. Okay, let me put a few more drops in just to say we did. Okay, because I really like that color. It's kind of like fairy purple. Okay, I put four more drops in. Four more drops in a splash. Okay, close. Those. Okay, so this is a good brand. I hope they didn't stop making that. There's, there's, the, that's the same brand. Oop, what's that? See, when you get that, that's gonna be everywhere, because this stuff spreads like wildfire. So you just get your baby wipe out and you handle that right from the get go. Yep, yep. It's gonna be everywhere. It's gonna be because when you get the stuff on your hands, it's hard to get off. All right, once it's dry, it's fine. But. It's known to stain metal, and that's what our, uh, the purpose is. So alcohol inks will color metal. Look at the vibrancy here. Yeah, I mean, that's the way to go. Get Artco. I'm going to see if they probably don't make them anymore or something like that. You know, the way they don't make the, um, the gold gilding paste, which is the most amazing gilding paste ever. <coughs> so there, that's beautiful. Okay, feeling good, feeling good about that. Yay. Okay, what's, oh, those were the little baby Tim Holtz. Um... Tiny, tiny paper clips, and they all just fell in here, so we don't know where they went. All right, I'm just gonna put them over there. All right, and now I don't need the alcohol inks anymore. Put those away, put all these away. But yeah, they're fun to play with. Um, well, we should do more things with them, and I, um, I have lots to play with, so we, yeah, now we remember we have lots to play with. All right, so this can go in the garbage. Yeah, all garbage must be removed. All right, what do we got here? More of these little guys. Put those, oh, I have two piles of those. That's not right. Okay, we'll just put them here so you can see them. All right, so are you organizing today with me? Yeah, come on. There's that little box over there. You could probably ferret through. You know it needs a good ferret. Um, I'd say just go for it. Okay, so now we have big paper clips. Now I need a little paper clip section. I would be very happy if I would just have big paper clips and little paper clips. I mean, the whole colors thing, I don't think I'm going to separate by color because that will just take me 100 million years. 
and I can pretty much find the color I'm looking for. What are you doing? Hey, hey, what's that? Oh, you found a paper? Yeah, okay, that's fine. <clears throat> okay, so here's a little bin. I can just my Russian vocabulary card thing. This looks old, doesn't it? Look at that, look at that. That's great, isn't it? I love that. I wanna go to Russia. I wanna go to Russia. I think Russia would be cool to see. I always wanna see St. Peter's Square and I wanna take a, um, a uh, river cruise down the, the river. The river, whatever the river is there, but the one that goes, um, the one that goes through Russia. <laughs> and uh, I would love to do that. So that's on the bucket list. Yeah, yeah. What's on your bucket list? Making a journal, maybe? Okay, so let me talk to those of you who are thinking about making a journal and you're amassing supplies, but you haven't quite made the journal yet. And there is a lot of wonder and awe and excitement in that world. I know like you're collecting things and you're like, okay, one day, one day I'm going to make my journal. And uh, I invite you to um, make a journal and just go for it. Just um, And don't worry about whether it's perfect or not. Uh, tell yourself, this is an experimental journal and I'm learning. And uh, I'm going to learn along the way. And um, this is going to be a good experience. So don't think of it like, okay, this journal has to be, you know, a pre a presentable to the queen and uh, all that kind of stuff because you'll never make the journal then. It'll just never happen. And uh, I want to get you past that point and make a journals because once you start to figure out they're not that hard to make and they're a lot of fun to make and then you're going to start thinking of different kinds of journals you want to make and can I make a journal out of this and can I make a journal out of that? Then that's when the fun really starts rolling. And um, there's lots of fun in collecting too. I get that. I get that. I've been there. Okay, there's little paper clips and stuff in here too, but that's okay. Bulb pins and paper clips, I think. Not paper clips. Can you call them safety pins? Because they're they're known everywhere in the world as safety pins and not paper clips, Pam. Okay, we have a little mental issue with that one for some reason. Okay, here we go. Cruising along, sorting my paper clips. It seems like watching paint dry, but I'm gonna be so happy all the rest of the year because they're organized, they're organized. Life will be good when they're organized. Um, so yeah, I can say with true honesty and joy in the heart that I'm so happy I organized my rubber stamps. So if you are dealing with a rubber stamp, night stamp nightmare like I was, or you know, still you know, eternally am. Okay, I think I'm gonna put my bulb pins in here for now. Just a temporary holding bin. Get rid of packaging. Packaging takes up so much room. If you're space challenged, get rid of packaging. I know it looks so nice and neat in the package, but you know, sometimes if you say to yourself, oh, it's, you know, I'd love to use that, but oh, I got to take it out of the package. I got to you know, like open that now. Yeah. The minute you say that, it's got to come out of the packaging because uh, you want to grab and go. Grab and go because you don't want to interrupt your creative flow. So um, that's my best tip. Get rid of the packaging. And uh, it does lead to crazy situations like this, I, I will admit openly, and if you're willing to accept that this can happen, and it does often, um, would you be willing to sh be, brave, be, little, be brave enough to show your paper clip drawer before you organize it? <laughs> um, go for it. It's no big deal. We all have one. I mean, maybe it's the kitchen drawer. Maybe it's your kid's craft, you know, drawer or something. You can blame it on the kids. You always blame it on the kids. Yeah, you know, well, um, so unfortunately I don't have any kids, so I can't blame it on the kids. So it's all, it's on me. <laughs> it's on me, my fault. Um, but uh, it's always worth it in the end. And it never takes, well, sometimes it takes longer than you think, but most of the time it takes less time than you think. We just build it up in our mind. Oh, cute little oddball things. I've got like an area of oddball things and I'll probably just keep it like a little box or something of oddball things. All right, what are you doing down there? Let me do a quick puppy check. Where are you? Oh, hey! No. No. Okay, I put my uh, my priority mailbox barricade so that he couldn't get to my lower shelves. And guess who snuck in behind the priority box barricade? Yeah, he's back in there chewing on my uh, coffee dyed papers. <laughs> little stinker. Oh, there's always a little puppy way. All right. Hey, where's your toy? Where's your toy, little guy? Want to play fetch? I don't see it. Why don't you go get it? Go get it and we'll play fetch. Yeah. Um, so he does like about 50 retrievals and then all of a sudden 
the toy doesn't come back anymore. And I, that's kind of my cue that he's getting tired. And he's like, okay, mom, I think I've had enough. I, I'm going down for my little nap ski now. And sometimes my nap skis last four hours. I mean, sometimes he's down, he's down. He's just like a little baby. And uh, the <laughs> mom, I can get some stuff done. And he's not as chewy as he was. He was like big time chewy uh, initially. Um, yeah, but that's starting to tone down. I noticed that the veracity of his little nibbles, we don't call him shark anymore. <laughs> <laughs> the toe shark. Um, he uh, he's just like occasionally he goes into a major nibble zone. All right, he's uh, cruised on out into the living room. All right, okay. Oh, it looks like he's headed in the bedroom. Okay, he might be going to do his special things in there. Yes, <laughs> I wonder what those are. But uh, he uh, we have like this um, closet door that has mirror from floor to ceiling, and he. Um, he thinks there's another puppy there. So sometimes he goes and he plays with the other puppy. <laughs> I haven't told him. Yeah, I haven't told him about Santa Claus either, but um, and so it goes. <laughs> All right. So I guess this is a big cleaning up year, part of the year. And a lot of us are cleaning and, I, and that's probably a good thing. We all need to, it's kind of, I don't know, it's like a communal cleaning. Um, when others are cleaning and you're cleaning too, it doesn't hurt as much. <laughs> I don't know. Look at, hey, we got like three three vestibules clean. That's awesome. I'm at four. Let's call that a baby vestibule up here. All right. Come on out. Come on out. All right. I love uh, these rose gold ones. I don't know why they're so expensive, but they're so pretty. Um, I love to use those. Um, okay. There's one of those rag ones. They're fun. So if, yeah, if you ever have nothing to do and you just want to sit around with like little bits of material, just go ahead and, and like hook them all onto a, a safety pin or a paper clip. And you will have had a productive day. Yes, your time will not have been wasted and you will be fulfilled because uh, your universe will change forever because you have had those to draw from. Oh, let's see, we have elastic. And we're probably going to do a couple parts of this one, unless my, my computer again, mag my computer, my phone magically lets me record longer. And I never know why it decides to record longer or not. It has a mind of its own. And um, I'm trying to unload it more so it's not so overburdened with a thousand videos on it. So I thought maybe if it gets like a little, you know, mental brain rest where it has more room in its memory that it will be you know, by the grace and the power of, of extra room and extra space that it will just give me um, longer videos so that I can put these all in one. But if that doesn't happen or if it didn't happen, you'll just see me on part two somewhere. Um, and I, I never know, it doesn't really, it, it does give me a flash like a maximum something achieved, but I, sometimes I'm not looking at the screen right at that moment and uh, I don't see it happen and it's real quick. It's just like maximum reached and then it goes over, it rolls over into some other land and uh, oops, okay, 